triangles. Learning about criteria that is test for congruence of triangle. Criteria test for congruence of triangle. If you are asked to draw a congruent triangle of a given triangle, then you can draw with appropriate measures. SSS congruence criterion test. If under a given correspondence the three sides of one triangle are equal to the three corresponding sides of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. Let us study this criterion test by talking an example. In triangle ABC and PQR, AB is equal to 3.5 centimeters. BC is equal to 7.1 centimeters. AC is equal to 5 centimeters. PQ is equal to 7.1 centimeters. And QR is equal to 5 centimeters. And PR is equal to 3.5 centimeters. Examine whether the two triangles are congruent or not. SAS game side angle side game appu and tipu now turn to play the game with slight modification side angle side congruence criterion if under a correspondence two sides and the angle included between them of a triangle are equal to two corresponding sides and the angle included between them of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. Given below are measurements of some parts of two triangles. Examine two triangles are congruent or not. In triangle ABC and triangle DEF, side AB is equal to 7 centimeters. BC is equal to 5 centimeters. Angle B is equal to 50 degrees. Side DE is equal to 5 centimeters. Side EF is equal to 7 centimeters. And angle E is equal to 50 degrees. Solution In triangle ABC and triangle DEF, AB is equal to EF is equal to 7 centimeters and BC is equal to DE is equal to 5 centimeters. Angle B is equal to angle E is equal to 50 degrees. Therefore, under correspondence, ABC is in correspondence to FED. Triangle ABC is congruent and equal to triangle FED. AB is equal to 4.5 centimeters. AC is equal to 4 centimeters. Angle A is equal to 60 degrees. DE is equal to 4 centimeters. FD is equal to 4.5 centimeters. Angle D is equal to 55 degrees. In triangle ABC and triangle DEF, AB is equal to FD is equal to 4.5 centimeters. AC is equal to DE is equal to 4 centimeters. Angle A is equal to 60 degrees. Angle D is equal to 55 degrees. Therefore, angle A is not equal to angle D. Therefore, triangle ABC and triangle DEF are not congruent. In triangle ABC and triangle DEF, under correspondence ABC, is in correspondence to FED. AB is equal to EF is equal to 6 centimeters. AC is equal to FD 
is equal to 4 centimeters. Angle B is equal to angle E is equal to 35 degrees. But angle B and angle E are not an angle in between two corresponding equal side of triangle ABC and triangle DEF. Triangle ABC and triangle DEF are therefore not congruent. For congruency of triangle ABC and triangle DEF by side angle side test, measure angle A must equal to measure angle F. Angle side angle game. Just like side 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 game and side angle side game, these are sufficient and necessary conditions for angle side angle test also. If two angles and one side between them are equal, then also two angles are said to be congruent. In triangle ABC and triangle PQR, Angle A is equal to angle P, angle B is equal to angle Q, and AB is equal to PQ. Therefore, triangle ABC is congruent and equal to triangle PQR by angle side angle test. Angle side angle congruence criterion. If under correspondence, two angles and the included side of a triangle are equal to two corresponding angles and the included side of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. In triangle MNO and triangle XYZ, under MNO in correspondence to XYZ, triangle MNO is congruent and equal to triangle XYZ by angle side angle test let us see some examples based on angle side angle rule by applying angle side angle congruence rule it is to be established that triangle abc is congruent and equal to triangle qrp and it is given that bc is equal to rp what additional information is needed to establish the congruence? Solution For angle side angle congruence rule, we need the two angles between which the two sides BC and RP are included. So the additional information is angle B is equal to angle R and angle C is equal to angle P. In figure given here, can you use angle side angle congruence rule and conclude that triangle AOC is congruent and equal to triangle BOD? In triangle AOC and triangle BOD, side AC is equal to side BD is equal to 3 centimeters and angle C is equal to angle D is equal to 70 degrees. The third angle must be angle A and angle B. In triangle AOC and triangle BOD, by angle addition property of triangle, angle A plus angle C plus angle AOC is equal to 180 degrees. Angle A plus 70 plus 30 is equal to 180 degrees. Angle A is equal to 180 minus 100. Angle A is equal to 80 degrees. Similarly, in triangle BOD, angle AOC is equal to angle BOD, vertically opposite angle. Therefore, angle BOD is equal to 30 degrees. By angle addition property in triangle, angle BOD plus angle B 
plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. 30 plus angle B plus 70 is equal to 180 degrees. Angle B is equal to 180 minus 100. That is, angle B is equal to 80 degrees. Therefore, angle A is equal to angle B. Now, triangle AOC is congruent and equal to triangle BOD by angle side angle rule. Given two angles of a triangle, you can always find the third angle of a triangle. So, whenever two angles and one side of one triangle are equal to the corresponding two angles and one side of another triangle, you may convert it into two angles and the included side form of congruence and then apply the angle side angle congruence rule. That is all in this subtopic. Learning is fun.